Hello everyone, welcome to another video on my channel. Today I am showing you guys some of my top favorite nail products for springtime. I am showing you guys glitter, stamping, gel paints, glitter gels, gel polish colors, all sorts of different products that are great for springtime and I get a lot of use out of. I know this video is coming at you guys a little bit late in the uh, season, however I still wanted to upload it just in case because of course you can use these products anytime throughout the year, they don't have to be used just during the springtime. And it kind of gives you some ideas to think about for next year also. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for this video, I'm actually going to start with the glitter gels first. And then I'm going to move on to gel polishes. And then I'm going to move into nail art. And so these are all of my spring favorites for nail art, color, glitter, everything. So first for glitter gel, my first pick is Light Elegance Sugar Coated. And it's a gorgeous iridescent, I believe it has tiny like holographic flecks in there. It's a really light pink, almost sheer. You can apply it over uh, a lot of different colors and you're gonna kind of get, you're gonna see that color underneath of it. And it's got some chunkier, bigger flecks of pink in there and some purple and some blue and kind of some silver. So that is sugar coated. Next I have cotton candy, which is a little bit more of a brighter pink. I don't feel like it's quite as bright as it's coming off in the camera. It is definitely brighter than sugar coated. And this one has like matte pink glitters as well as there's really tiny iridescent pieces of glitter in there also. And again, this color is cotton candy, another really gorgeous pink. I feel like in the springtime, you're going to get a lot of use out of like pinks and purples and pastels and those kind of colors. This next color is be in your bonnet. And this color is a fun one. This is actually one of probably my top favorite Light Elegance glitter gels. And this color actually came out in a summer collection, but I feel like you can totally use it for spring as well. It is a light pink and it has some oranges in there. I feel like it has blues, like the iridescent glitters kind of reflect blue. And this glitter looks absolutely stunning over top of pinks and oranges. That is what I find. You can really layer it over any color, but over pinks and oranges or by itself is what I feel like it looks absolutely the best over top. You can see like on my spatula, after you have applied on the nail, it's not as concentrated like of a pink as it is in the jar. So you can really layer it over lots of different colors. But this one is definitely a top, top in my collection, uh, not just for spring, but also for summer. The next one is called Smoothie. And this one is what I would describe as a nude glitter. If I ever have anybody ask for a nude glitter, this is the one that I reach for. I think it has silver and gold in it. Just the color of the glitter, it, the only way I can describe it is that it's literally a nude glitter. I do get a lot of use out of this one year round as well. So again, that one, this one is smoothie. The next one is called Playdate and this one is a fun one. It's a light mint color and it has lots of matte glitters in it as well as some iridescent glitters. And I'm gonna make sure and try and find if I've done, if I have pictures of any nails that I've done with these colors, I'm gonna try to put them on the screen for you guys so that you guys can get an idea. Sometimes they don't look quite the same in on the nail as they do like in the pot. But this one is definitely like a fun spring one because this is a very unique glitter color. It's almost that like perfect Tiffany blue, teal, minty, gorgeous. I love this one. 
The next color is hashtag dazzling. And this one is definitely of like a darker color, but I did really think of spring when I saw this one in my drawer. It is a blue and it has matte glitters and it has regular glitters in it. So it's got, it does not have any iridescent and it does not have any holographic. It's just the blue glitters that reflect blue. So there's no other colors in this glitter, but I just think it's a really pretty blue and it's not too bright. So it's not like so much of a summer blue, although you could use it, definitely use it for summer. I really think this is a nice spring blue. The next glitter gel I have is Shave Ice, and this one is a really light purple. Again, this one does not have any holographic or any iridescent glitters in it. It's just straight that light purple color. And this one is really gorgeous. Again, you're gonna get a lot of uses out of pinks and purples in the springtime. Next, I have two of the Beamy Beauty Box Leaf Gels. This one is in Orchid. I need to stir it up here. So this one's like a really pretty light, like almost like a light purple, but it has a pink hue to it. I wanna say almost like, would that be considered like magenta? Like a light magenta? I guess Orchid is a really good name for it because that really describes the color. So again, that one is Beamy Beauty Box in the color Orchid, and that is a leaf gel. The last glitter gel I have is the Beamy Beauty Box in the color Aqua, which is a light blue. These leaf gels, I feel like, do need to be mixed up before you use them because they do separate a little bit. They go on so nice, and you really only need like one coat you can totally get away with one coat. They look absolutely gorgeous. And I love this light blue aqua color. So that is it for glitter gels. Now I'm gonna move on to gel polishes. Starting with pinks, this one is Magpie from their new spring collection, which is Come What May. And this one is a really nice sheer pink. It's a little bit more sheer than it appears in the bottle, but it's absolutely gorgeous. You can wear it by itself and it just gives that nice, really nice clean pink nail. It's actually what is the base of my opal nails that I have on right now. And I did, I did post these in a previous video, so check that out if you wanna figure out how to do these opal nails. And you guys, some of these bottles are very well loved and used. I tried to clean them up as best as I could, but uh, you know, this is real life salon, uh, what's going on right here. So just means that they really are used a lot, especially during the springtime. So this is one of my all-time favorite nudes, not just in spring, but all-time favorite, which is the Luxio Forever. And it's a really nice, I find the most like neutral nude. You can always use nudes no matter what time of the year. I definitely probably get the most use out of them during the springtime when people are gravitating toward lighter colors and things like that. So this is one of my favorite nudes, Luxio Forever. Next is Luxio in the color Delightful, which is the only way I can describe this one is it is a pastel bright pink. It's a bright pastel pink. So I don't know if that's possible, but that's what I would describe this color as, is a bright pastel pink. So this one is fun. It's a really pretty pink and it's got that nice springtime pastel look to it. This next one is called Cheeky. And this one is more of on the pink coral side. Again, another color you're gonna get a lot of use out of in the spring is corals and oranges as well. So this one's really gorgeous. This one is cheeky. One that is not so pastel, but also a great one for spring is Swan. 
it's more of on the berry it's not a red it's definitely a pink and it's more on like that berry side so that is another great color to have for spring in your collection again this is Lexio in the color swan the next color is magpie's fun time frankie which is a nice light pink it's showing up a little bit brighter in my camera than it is in real life and let me just compare this one to the luxio delightful so you guys can see the difference so the left is the magpie's fun time frankie and the right is the luxio delightful so the delightful is a lot more pastel in color but it's still bright and this one is more of like your standard pink so again that's fun time frankie from magpie next color is luxio crush this one is a really fun pastel orange again it's one of those colors that is pastel but it's also bright one of my favorite looks is to ombre the Luxio, the Delightful, and the Crush together. They look really beautiful with each other. Crush is like your perfect, like if you're going to do some peach nails, things like that, I would go for Luxio Crush. My favorite spring yellow, which is Magpie Hannah Banana. I feel like good yellows can be hard to find because yellows tend to be sheer and it's hard to get a nice even coverage with yellows, but I find that Hannah Banana is a really good yellow. Some nice pastel greens. Luxio Wink is a really light green. People don't normally gravitate towards greens, I feel like. However, in the springtime, this type of a green is going to be uh, your friend. And this type of a green is a little bit more of like wearable than your average like straight green. Next I have the gel bottle in the color Tiffany. I only have a couple colors from the gel bottle, but this one is pretty gorgeous. This is definitely like your turquoise Tiffany color. And here are the two, the last one that I showed you guys compared to it. So this is the Luxia Wink. It's definitely more green pastel. And then this is the gel bottle Tiffany. It's definitely got that more of like aqua Tiffany color. The next one is Magpie's Moaning Myrtle. And this one actually is also from their new springtime collection. It's a really pretty dusty kind of a blue green, like a dusty teal is the way I would describe it. And I've actually gotten a lot of use out of this color. It's really gorgeous on and it's not so bright so if you have a client that's not into like super bright colors it's a really good option going into the blues i have luxio calm which is your light pastel blue and then luxio engagement which is a really popular one you can tell because the bottle is pretty uh, gnarly there but it's a little bit more teal in color and a little bit brighter and if you want to compare the Luxio Engagement to the gel bottle Tiffany, the gel bottle is more green than the Luxio Engagement. Engagement's going to be more on the blue turquoise side. Next, as we're going into the purples, I have Luxio Celebrate, which is a periwinkle, I would call it. So it's transitioning from your blue to your purple. This is one of my favorite colors, definitely a must for spring. I love this color, but I am a little bit partial because purple is my favorite color. So uh, this one is such a nice periwinkle purple color. Then we have Luxio in the color Precious, which is getting more into that lavender purple shades. Definitely one, another one that I get a lot of use out of magpies be happy from their new spring collection it's a little bit darker not as pastel as the other purple uh, also a great purple to have in your collection if somebody wants something a little bit darker not quite as light lastly is a little bit of a brighter purple 
you know, brighter take on spring, which is Luxio Attraction. It's got that purple, but it also has that pink hue to it. So it's that really pretty bright, uh, almost like that orchid color. Now, going into nail art, I am gonna start off with some of my favorite spring uh, gel paint colors. With the exception of the Light Elegance Buttercreams, they are uh, gels that you can put over the entire nail, but they also work really great for art, so I'm including them in the gel art colors for spring. So these are my top fave spring gel paints from Magpie. This top one in the corner here, this is their rose gold, which is absolutely gorgeous. If you're looking for a metallic gel paint for spring, I would definitely grab the Magpie rose gold. And it's got that little bit more of like a pink hue to it on the rose gold spectrum. So it's great for spring because it's got that pink in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Then we have their purple, which I really like their purple is a little bit darker than um, kind of like a pastel purple, but still gorgeous. This is their light blue, mint, and green, which this green I wouldn't consider like a spring green. However, this is the perfect green for doing leaves. If you paint florals and stuff, this is the perfect shade of green for leaves. It's not too dark and it's not too light. So it's not too like of a lime, uh, green or like a neon green which i've seen in some gel paints so this is the perfect green for doing leaves so this is definitely a must and this is their pink so the pink is a little bit brighter but it looks absolutely gorgeous and then when you put the leaves on oh perfect perfect for spring so in this next group of gel paints i've included the light elegance buttercreams they are meant to go over over the whole nail as like a color, but they're also meant for nail art. So they work really nice for nail art, which is why I've included them in the nail art section of this video. So we have Light Elegance, we have the Butter Me Up, which is the pastel purple, Grade A, which is the light uh, teal mint color, and Sweet Cream, which is the pink. And these, you know, you could paint florals with them, you could paint uh, rainbows, ombres, all that kind of stuff. They're absolutely gorgeous. And then these two are some accents gel play uh, gel paints. This one is Icy Violet, which is a light pastel glitter purple. You can tell these two look absolutely gorgeous together, just sitting next to each other. Mm. And this one is the gel play in the color teal. So and it's a little bit darker than the grade A buttercream. All right, moving on to more nail art spring favorites. I wanted to highlight the new Magpie Spring Glitter Collection because it's perfect for spring and it ha literally has like every color of the rainbow that you would need. So uh, this is definitely a must have for spring. What's really cool about these is it's not just a glitter, but it's actually like little tiny flakes in there. So it's kind of like a flaky kind of mylar glitter. Let me see if I can show you guys kind of the different shapes. So you have some regular glitter pieces, but then you also have these like little kind of, I guess you'd call them like shards. That's what I would call them, like shards of iridescent, like mylar, glitter, all that fun stuff. So that's what this entire collection is. It's these glitters that are also the kind of flaky iridescent. So these are all iridescent glitters and we have Deborah, which is blue, Monica is a teal, Irene is a green, Linda, purple, Marjorie is an orange, like an orange uh, corally color, Pamela, pink, Jillian, which is a darker pink, a little bit more on the purple side, and we have Denise, which is a yellow. So that is a perfect all-around collection for spring for a glitter. They also have some really nice white glitters that can be applied over different colors to kind of give you different effects. We have Love, which 
has like a green pink iridescent uh, reflection and Bianca which is more of like a pink purple and Flossy which is a kind of like a gold blue iridescent and then Lily which is a much finer iridescent uh, I'd probably say it's closest to Flossy as far as the color that it is but these look gorgeous over white or you can kind of get different looks if you apply them over different colors but whites are really great to have in the springtime some other fun uh, shape glitters from magpie this one is dolly and it has lots of stars and hearts and circles and different shapes in it that are all iridescent so that one is really pretty we have the petals so you can actually place these individually on the nail and put them like in a circle and you can create a little flower with these petal glitters and this one's really pretty this one's like pink and some iridescent ones in there also and then also the butterflies the butterflies right now are really popular among like nail art and nail trends so they have these really pretty silver butterfly glitters also two of my favorite uh, chrome powders from them which are great for spring really these are great for any time of year but i wanted to show you guys um, my favorite which is shelly and pandora and so this is what the swatches look like for both of these colors applied over white so shelly is going to give you that iridescent green purple kind of pink color and then pandora is giving you that blue pink iridescent so these are absolutely gorgeous any whites and stuff like that are really great for spring so these are some of my like top faves i'm gonna have to order some more because they are getting a little bit low Another glitter that I have in my collection that I thought would be great for spring is from EGN and it's number 1760. And this one has pastel pink, purple, and orange. And it has butterflies, flowers, and kind of those hexagon shapes in there of all these different pinks and purples. And then that orange, which is like the perfect color palette for spring so this is a really fun like chunky glitter to use for spring next in the nail art section i wanted to share with you guys some nail stickers uh super easy to use especially if you're not great at hand painting and or you are in a time crunch nail stickers are a great alternative these are from so nailicious the reason they are cut is because i actually put them in a business card holder and so the the uh paper that they come on are pretty wide so i have to cut them in order to fit them into my little organization container so these are just some stickers from so nailicious pansies some little tiny delicate flowers different black and white or black flowers that you could place over any color then the last section is stamping this stamping plate is from clear jelly stamper uh, it does not say the name on it so i will have to look it up and then put it on the screen and i'll make sure and link all these products in the description box below as well so this is a layered stamping plate and there is roses and leaves and a tulip and some script writing so this one is really good for spring it's going to give you some flowers and you can kind of layer different colors for that another clear jelly stamper plate is this one which is it says down here v18 and this one has loads of leaves and flowers on it i did a set of nails using this stamping plate where we did a whole bunch of flowers as the french on each nail as like fading up so that was really pretty and i personally love these kind of small delicate uh leaves and outlines when you're doing spring nails so that this one is definitely a top favorite anytime anybody wants some sort of leaves or spring flowers and stuff like that the next one is from dixie plates and it's called lots of leaves so you can use this one all year round because you have some more fall time leaves i just love any like leaf 
nails, leaf prints. You can make abstract nails with leaves on them and different things like that. So this one has so many different options of types of leaves that you could use. So again, Dixie plates, lots of leaves. As far as stamping polishes go, these are some of my favorite spring stamping polishes. So we have a light gray, which is number 15, a pastel lavender purple, number 17, uh, number 72, which is that turquoise mint teal color, 77, which is what I use for leaves. If I'm looking for a green to stamp leaves with, I reach for this one, which is number 77. Number seven, which is your light blue, eight, which is yellow, 64, which is a super pastel yellow, 41 is the rose gold, 65, which is your orange coral, and this one is number six, which is a pink. So these are some of the colors that I reach for the most during spring for stamping. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these fun products that I love to use for springtime. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And also hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. Do you guys have these products already? What are some of your favorites? What are definitely on your shopping list? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video.